Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name's Tiffany. Today I'm going to be unboxing the new version of the Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch, the Posh Toilet NM toiletry bag. So if you are interested then keep on watching and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel so you can see more from me and check out my Instagram and let's get right into this. So, I purchased this piece from the Selfridges store in London. It's one of those weird experiences where you know where they're just sort of like, ugh, don't want to serve you and just looking at you like, can we help you? It was that kind of weird experience there. They didn't wrap it up nice in the ribbon or anything at all. She did say to me, do you want it gift wrapped? And I was like, oh yes please, and then she just didn't. So, yeah, this is how it came in the bag. And I've noticed as well the box, it doesn't even fit in the box properly. But anyway, let's flip the camera around and dive right in. Okay, here we go. No satisfying ribbon pull. Oh, I could smell the leather already through the dust bag. Here she is. First impressions. So it says Louis Vuitton Paris on here. It says the country is made in inside now but it's see in store this one was made in paris one sheet of canvas so it's upside down on the other side let's see the zip Ooh, the zip is um different sorry my grubby fingerprints all over that the zip does look nice. It's more shiny and golden compared to the normal toiletry pouch. I do have the original toiletry pouch 26, so I will be doing like a proper comparison video between the two um, next week. But yeah, back to this one. This is like a proper nice shiny gold zip, rather than like the other kind. Let's see if it's smooth. Ooh. It does feel kind of, I think it's got a bit of a, a bit of a pull to it, but well, I think because it's new probably. Yeah, it's just the front part that's a bit stiff. These sides, black leather, and the piping is quite nice along the edges. Nice chocolate piping. The black leather does look really nice, I can't lie. So stitching across the sides and then piping across the edges. Just give it a really nice finish. Let's see the inside. You can see the texture of the leather because it's leather lined inside it says on the website but this leather feels more like Saffiano leather or like it feels like you could scratch it and stuff and it wouldn't budge it does feel very durable so inside here you've got one pocket oh, you've got here product code and things and here one pocket if it wants to focus and then the card slots it says made in France here I'm not sure if that's picking it up if not I'll put a um, close up where it says made in France you've got one two three four card slot here so the pouch and the, or the pocket I should say and then the four card slots. Yeah, normal sort of depth. Yeah, this leather definitely feels like it's very durable on the inside. This part here does feel quite smooth and I'd hate to scratch it, but this part is like very durable on the inside. It does like feel very firm in its shape compared to the other one. The other one I mean, I do have an organiser in it, but you know how you could just like squish it fully in the middle and it would be fine. Whereas um, this, 
it does feel I mean you can squish it but this leather does help it keep its shape back quite firmly hmm first impressions oh the canvas is even a bit darker might just be coincidence but the canvas is a bit darker on this one first impressions it does look very sleek and sophisticated I do like the black leather, I am a fan oh, yeah. Hmm. yeah, as I said, I will do a proper in-depth comparison between the two so we can see what the real deal is so here she is the posh toilette nm toiletry bag this costs 755 pounds so quite an increase from the previous model i had a quick look through my emails and i got the previous model on the 9th of january 2021 for 360 pounds so this one being 755 pounds is quite a jump i guess where it's got leather on the sides and literally lined in leather now that probably justifies some of the price increase with the previous one it was just canvas so i guess it could be made for cheaper but yeah the leather does smell glorious and the price increase is quite a bit especially if you were trying to get hold of the previous model to then have to pay like more than double uh, is really annoying the lady in the store she was like you should count yourself lucky to have gotten hold of this they're like going like wildfire and like it's really hard to get hold of them right now and I was like what because they've been on like available online every single day have you noticed like everything just seems to be available right now on the LV site I don't know if that's anyway I digress but yeah it's everything's just available right now so I was like what do you mean it's hard to get <laughs> it's been available online every day remember with the previous toilet pouches you have to like refresh the tab constantly and every couple of weeks if you're lucky you'd find it at one point Whereas this has just been available, so yeah, I don't know if that's what they're told to say. And it's really exclusive, but it's really easy to get hold of. I've never seen it out of stock since it's come out a couple of weeks ago now. But anyway, this is what it says on the website for the description. The Posh Toilette NM toiletry bag offers a convenient, stylish way to carry personal necessities. Crafted in Louis Vuitton's timeless monogram canvas and fine black cowhide with a gold finish zip, it emanates quality and sophistication. More than just a toiletry bag, its ingenious design incorporates four card slots plus a patch pocket for papers. This bag is ideal for today's mobile lifestyles. So pretty much what everyone's been doing with it already, they've sort of said, okay, if you're going to use it as more than a toiletry bag, you can do it on our terms. That is sort of what it feels like. With my actual toiletry pouch, I'm not really a clutch person, so I did use it more as a bag organiser, as a toiletry bag, or mostly as a makeup bag. I like to have my makeup in there, and that way it's easy to just shove my makeup in any sort of bigger bag, I need to do things on the go. So I did like it as a makeup bag, whereas this does feel more, like it just feels more of a bag to me with the leather on there. I feel like if I was a clutch person, I probably would have um use the toiletry pouch as a clutch i really like the way some people put like the chains on like you know the shorter chains like some people had like chunky like pearl chains and stuff that made it look so cool i, I remember a lot of people getting annoyed when the toiletry pouch got discontinued being like oh how could you turn it into a handbag so tacky as far as i'm concerned if you pay for something you can literally do what you want with it like you've paid for it do what you want with it and if anything if you're getting more use out of something it's more worth it like yeah so I did have an organiser inside but I've never actually hooked on any straps to it but I've always been curious what like if I should get one of the um cute little straps but yeah I do think these like the conversion kits and everything just take this to a whole new level and some of the ways people styled it like turn it into it looked like a whole proper handbag so yeah I think with this that just sort of elevates that as well with the leather and things now I do think it is a really cool look but yeah it is sort of like okay if you were gonna do make this into a handbag you can do it on our terms that, that is really <laughs> what it feels like with this price increase and in things i do however think this is a really sophisticated looking piece and i'm hoping to get a lot of use out of this and the leather and i feel like it's a bit more durable with the lining inside because the other one has a lighter lining that's why i've got my um insert in there so that my chocolate covered foundation doesn't stain the insides. I was always worried, even though I said it was wipeable, I didn't want to like stain anything. Whereas this, with, where it's black, you're not worried about like stains or anything on the inside, and the material as well does feel really durable. 
so yeah I don't think I think they have done a really good job on this um, I will put the measurements and link on the screen if you're curious so you can see the sizes it does feel pretty much the same size as the um, original toiletry pouch but it does feel a bit like heavier it does feel a lot more durable though as well but again I will be doing a comparison video of these two so please subscribe if you do want to see that and yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video let me know if there's anything more you want to know about this piece or you want to compare about in the comparison video comment below let me know if you, anything else you want to see but yes hopefully you enjoyed this and please don't forget to check out my instagram and things and hopefully i will see you in the next one thanks so much bye